Well, students at Grand Valley State University grieving the, grieving the loss of a fellow Laker holding a candlelight vigil for Taylor DeRosa tonight. Freshmen found dead over the weekend on campus. Our Angeline McCall joining us live now from Allendale with that story. Angeline. Derek, these candles are still bright hours after this vigil was held. And looking at these candles, you get a glimpse of just how many people came out for Taylor DeRosa, who was a freshman here on campus. Now, earlier tonight, there were also flowers here as well as letters and notes, often containing memories from some people about some of those good times that she spent with her friends here. Like these flames, friends are remembering her as a light in the world who had fought for the issues that she felt passionate about. GVSU students have lived by the terms Laker strong and Laker together for the past year. Tonight, those words prove true. It's definitely a sobering moment, but it's not surprising because Taylor had such a spirit that she she made an impact on everybody that met her. McKenna Speed and Amanda Bourne and this group have been friends with Taylor since their camp days, also serving as camp counselors together. Taylor was very, very, very close to us, and it's like honestly losing a member of your family and it's been pretty difficult for us. Tonight they're reflecting on the memories shared together, even from the beginning of their friendship. She was actually the first person that I noticed in the cabin because she was the type of person that lit up every room that she was in and her smile was so wide and like genuine that she just, she drew attention and um, she definitely made everybody around her smile. Those close to her are still waiting on clarity about what happened to their friend, with campus police releasing little information. Taylor certainly did not deserve this. Um, there was no part of her life that was in any way negative. She was positive in almost every single regard. Um, so I think it's been hard to grasp the concept that it could happen to her. This crowd made up also of those who didn't know her. Just unity. Um, I may not have known Taylor, but um, if something were to happen to me, I would hope people would come out for me and show the support for my loved ones and my family. And, um, you know, random acts of kindness can really mean a lot. For those who did know her, though, her loss will not be forgotten. Only the world, sadly, won't later see all the change she hoped to make. I think that she would have made a huge difference in the world if she were still here. GVSU has told students here that are impacted by her death that there are additional counseling resources that are available to them to help them get through this grief. Now, there is a GoFundMe page also set up on behalf of Taylor. If you'd like to donate to her family, you can go to our website, fox17online.com. Reporting in Allendale, Angela McCall, Fox 17 News. All right, Angeline, tough times indeed for them. Thank you.